Hello and welcome. My name's Miss Bridget and I'm a teacher and I've taught preschoolers for many, many, many years. And during that time, we learned lots of things together and had lots of fun learning. And one of the things we had fun learning was our letters. We also learned our letter sounds and that's called phonics. And I wanted to share with you the program I taught my preschoolers because they learned to read by doing this phonics program. And I'd like to share it with you also. The thing we did is we learned all of our letter sounds, A to Z, the whole alphabet, and we did one letter each week. And with each letter, we had an animal that we learned to rhyme with. And the cheer that we did for the animal helped them learn their letter sounds. So we're gonna do that too. The first letter, do you know what it is that we start with? That's right, we're gonna start with the letter A. This is the letter A. A and all letters have two letters, a capital, which is the big letter, and a lowercase, which is the small letter. And every letter also has a sound. And the sound that A makes is ah. And in order to remember that, we're gonna learn a little cheer to help you. Also, every letter has a sign language that goes with it. And that's for children who can't hear, that's called deaf. And children that are deaf can't hear a letter sound, but they can see a letter. And the sign language for A is you put your fingers down and put your thumb next to them. And that is the sign language for the letter A. So as we do our cheer, we're also gonna do the sign language for the cheer. Let's put this down. Our animal for A happens to be an alligator. An alligator starts with the letter A. His name is Al. Al also starts with the letter A, and he has a little cheer, and his cheer goes like this. A, A for alligator Al. Apples, ants, and Africa. Africa is a land far, far away from us. Acrobats, those are people who do flips in the air, and animals. A, A for alligator Al. An alligator Al, if all you remember is that first A, A for alligator Al, that's great because you're learning the letter A sound. After my preschoolers and I would do this cheer, we would pick up a big book. And this is an alphabet book. And we'd start with the letter A. And in this book, it has so many pictures of things that start with A. There's an anchor, an acrobat, an aardvark, that's someone who eats ants that start with A, apple tree, apple, artist, antelope, apricot, alligator, acorn, avocado, and astronaut. Those are so many things that start with A. And after my preschoolers would tell me what they saw that started with A, we would shut the book, and then they would try and remember something that starts with A. I want you to try and think real hard and think if you can think of something that starts with the letter A. Hmm, what can you remember that was in that book or it could be in the alligator cheer that starts with A? Since you're not here to tell me, I'll try and guess what you're thinking. I have an apple up here to write on. So let's start with apple. Apple starts with the letter A, so we'll write the word apple. What else was in that book? Let's think. Hmm. There was an alligator like our cheer. Let's write alligator, because alligator starts with the letter A. Let's think of something else. What else was in that book? Hmm. I think I remember. What's that person who flies through outer space, can fly in a spaceship? Right, astronaut. Astronaut starts with the letter A. Let's think of one more thing that starts with it. Do you remember that guy who was flying through the, the fire hoop in our picture and they do flips in the air sometimes? What are they called? Acrobats. Acrobats starts with the letter A. Let's write acrobats down. So we've written some words that start with the letter A on our apple. After we did that with the preschoolers, we had a fun time doing what we called rainbow writing. And rainbow writing is something that's super simple. They each got a notebook and inside the notebook, I wrote 
the capital A and the lowercase a. And a grown-up can help you do that too. And if you don't have a notebook, any paper will do. And then we called it rainbow writing because the kids would pick any three colors they wanted and they would trace the big A and the little A. And they could do it with crayons or pens. I have pens here today, so I'm gonna to use pens. You can use whatever you want. My first color I pick, can you tell me what color that is? Right, green. So the red dot that I put at the top of the A, it shows the children where to start. So you put your pen at the top of the A and you trace one side and then you trace the other side and then you cross in the middle. If you don't stay on the lines, it doesn't matter. It just shows you where to go. And then this other red dot on the small letter A, you just put your pen there and you make a big curve. It looks kind of like a letter C that we'll learn later. And then you put a little line down the side. And that is the letter A that we've traced. Now we're gonna do it two more times. Pick whatever color you want. I think I'll pick this color next. Blue, right. We're gonna go down one side and down the other and cross in the middle. And for the little A, we'll go around and down. Sometimes I'd have the kids say the letter sound while they drew it to help stick in their minds. Here's my last let my last color. Orange, right. So we'll go down one side, down the other, and across in the middle. And the little a, we go around and down, and we can say a ah, as we do it, because a is for a. Ah. That's the sound it makes. So after they would draw their A, we would turn the page over, and on the back, they would think of something that starts with the letter A. You can draw a picture of anything you want that starts with the letter A on the back. Since you're not here to draw the picture, I'll draw one instead. Let's see, what do I wanna draw that starts with the letter A? Hmm, I know, how about a red apple? Apples are circles, so I'm just going to draw a circle and I'll put a little stem on it because apples have stems and maybe I'll just color it in red so I have a red apple and then you can have a grown-up write the word apple and I'm just going to write the word apple here and now we know we have an apple and so that is our rainbow writing. We'll put that down and we'll do that again another time. The last thing that my preschoolers would do is they would tell me something that they learned about an alligator. We would read a few books about alligators. I would close those books and then I would ask them to tell me something they learned about alligators. And what I would do is type it up and send it to their moms and dads so they could teach their moms and dads things too. So what I did after 15 years of hearing lots of things about alligators, I wrote a book called Children on Safari, and it is an animal fact book from alligators to zebras. That's where we're gonna end is with zebras. And it's taught by my children, by my preschoolers. So it's kind of exciting to learn from other children. Sometimes it gets boring to learn from adults, but sometimes it's more exciting to learn from kids like yourself. So that's what we did. We ta they taught us things. And here are all the things they said about alligators. That is lots of kids over lots of years telling me things. And I had even more than this, but I had to, I had to get it down to two pages. That's a lot. So what I want to do is not read the whole two pages to you. That would take a long, long time. But I picked out some things that I'd like to share with you about alligators from my past preschoolers. Okay, let's see. Bailey said they stay in water normally. Emma said they swim in rivers. They are very good swimmers. Gavin said they can stay underwater for a long time. They have flaps to close their nose. Let's see, Laban said they have something to close their throat also so water can't get in. And Sam said they can close their ears also so water can't get in. Susie said they eat bugs when they're small and reptiles when they're bigger. Reptiles are bigger animals. Sunny said, alligators lay eggs. Landon said, the mom makes a nest out of mud and grass. 
Tucker said the mom carries the babies in her mouth to the water. And JJ said they live in a swamp. That's just a few of the many, many things my preschoolers told me about alligators. They're really interesting animals. And here's a picture of an alligator. Here he is, he's by the river and in his habitat. His habitat is his home and probably his habitat is a swamp, like JJ said. Before we go, can we end with one more alligator owl cheer? Let's see if you can remember. Do you remember the sign language? Your hand come, fingers come down, your thumb goes by the side, and his cheer is A, A for alligator owl. Apples, ants, and Africa. Acrobats and animals. A, A for alligator owl. Thank you for joining me today. The next time we come back, we're gonna do the next letter. Do you know what comes after A? Hmm, let's look. After A is the letter B. And B has a B sound, and we will see what animal starts with the letter B next time. Thanks for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. I love it when you join me, and I can teach you a little bit too. Okay, until next time, have fun and we'll see you later. Bye.